These are the formulae you will use in financial maths. Simple interest, compound interest, simple or straight line depreciation, compound depreciation, the formula to convert between nominal and effective interest rates, future value of an annuity, and present value of an annuity. When using any of these formulae, remember to get an accurate answer, do all the calculations in one step on your calculator. Do not round off answers in your calculations until the final answer. The present value of an annuity is the current or present value of a set of future cash flows given a specified rate of return. The present value of the annuity, thus, consists of the sum of each payment's present value and forms a geometric sequence. With bank loans, interest is paid on the reducing balance. The lower the balance, the less interest you have to pay. By making additional payments, you are able to reduce the duration of the loan as well as save a lot of interest. A reducing balance loan is also known as a present value annuity. The loan is said to be amortized, that's paid off, when the principal amount together with the interest charges is paid off. The formula used to calculate the, formula the present value, to of, an the present value of an present annuity value equals is x, present value which equals is x, the payment, which is times the payment, one, times minus one, one plus i, minus to, the one power plus of I to the n, power of negative all divided n, by i. All divided by Let's i. Look at some present value Let's examples. look at some present value examples. Example 1. Determining the value of a loan, Mr. Abrahams plans to buy a house on a 24-year mortgage and can only afford to pay 5,500 Rand per month. If the interest rate is currently 10% per annum compounded monthly, determine the size of the mortgage he can take if he starts paying one month after the mortgage was approved. To determine the size of the loan he can take, we will use the present value formula. A 24-year home loan would imply 288 monthly payments of 5,500 Rand. We can represent the given information on a timeline. The monthly interest rate will be 0, 0,1 divided by 12. You can keep the interest rate in this form to make calculations easier. Substitute values for x, i and n into the present value formula and use your calculator to work out the amount of the loan, which is 599,527 rand and 75 cents. Example 2. Determining the payments per period for a loan. A loan of 100,000 rand is repaid by means of 10 semi-annual payments of X rand each. If interest on the loan is charged at 16% per annum, compounded semi-annually, determine X if the first payment is made at the end of the first half year. We can represent the given information on a timeline, where time 1, T1, is the first of the 10 semi-annual payments and X is the payment per period. To calculate the payment per period on this loan, we will use the present value formula. The semi-annual interest rate to use is 16% in decimal form, divided by 2, the number of compounding periods in one year, which gives us 0, 0,08. N will be 10, as there are 10 semi-annual payments. Substitute values for the present value, i and n, into the formula and change the subject of the formula by dividing both sides of the equation by the fraction on the right-hand side to find x, the payment period. x equals 14,902 rand and 95 cents. Example 3. Determining the payment per period of a loan. Miss Jackson takes out a loan of 150,000 rand to buy a new car. The loan is to be amortized by equal quarterly payments for a period of 10 years at a rate of 14% per annum compounded quarterly. Determine the size of each quarterly payment she must make if she pays a deposit 
of 15,000 rand. Since she pays a deposit, this amount is taken off the value of the loan. So the loan amount will now be 135,000 rand. We need to use the present value formula for this question as we are dealing with a loan. The interest rate will be 0, 0,14 divided by 4 as the compounding period is quarterly to give 0, 0,035. Over 10 years there will be 40 quarterly payments made. We can represent the given information on a timeline. Substitute values for the present value, i and n, to work out the quarterly payments. x. Use your calculator to solve for x by dividing both sides of the equation by the fraction on the right-hand side. You will get the value of the quarterly payment, which is 6,321 rand and 68 cents. Example 4. Determining the term of a loan. A loan of a thousand rand is paid off by equal monthly payments of 88 rand 85 per month at a rate of 12% per annum compounded monthly. How long does it take to amortize the loan if the first payment is made at the end of the first period? Notice that the period of this loan is unknown and that we will have to solve for n using the present value formula. We can represent the given information on a timeline. We will work with a monthly interest rate of 0, 0,01 in decimal form. Using the present value formula, substitute the known values of x, i and the present value. Change the subject of the formula to solve for n. When you simplify both sides of the equation, you will find that you need to use logs to solve for n. Change from exponential to log form. Divide both sides by negative 1, and you will get n equals 12 months. The outstanding balance of a loan is the amount owed on a debt on a specific date. A person with debt may decide to settle their debts when they come across some extra money by winning a lotto game or by inheriting some money from a friend or a relative. We also hear quite often that the governor of the Reserve Bank announces a change in the interest rate. In both these scenarios, the banks have to find an outstanding balance on your loan to calculate what amount of the original capital amount of the loan is still owed to the bank. Let's look at an example to work out the outstanding balance of a loan. A loan of 180,000 Rand is repaid by means of 10 semi-annual payments of X Rand each. Interest on the loan is charged at 14% per annum, compounded semi-annually. 1. Calculate the semi-annual repayments and 2. Calculate the balance outstanding on the loan after the fifth payment has been made. For part 1, we first work out the semi-annual interest rate by dividing 0, 0,14 by 2 and get 0, 0,07. We can work out the semi-annual repayments, x, by using the present value formula and substituting values for i, present value, and n. Change the subject of the formula to find x, and that is equal to 25,000, 627 rand and 95 cents. We can represent the situation so far on a timeline. There are two methods to calculate the balance outstanding on a loan. The retrospective method and the prospective method. We will discuss the prospective method for part two of the question. This method is forward-looking. It calculates the loan balance as the present value of all future payments to be made. We need to move each payment that has not been made back on the timeline to the point T5. This would mean removing interest from each payment up to T5. So, we are thus working with a present value of an annuity at T5. Use the present value formula and substitute values for X, I 
and N. Type the expression on the right-hand side into your calculator and you will get the balance outstanding for the loan at time 5, which is 105,079 rand and 66 cents. At this point, it's important to draw your attention to some important facts about outstanding balance. Outstanding balance on any loan is always calculated directly after the last payment is made. The prospective method, illustrated, calculates the outstanding balance as the present value of all payments yet to be made. Deriving the present value of an annuity formula. When we calculate the present value of an annuity, each of the regular payments are future or accumulated values that are made up of capital and interest added. These future values then become a sequence of present values when we move them backwards towards the beginning of the timeline. And by moving backwards, we are removing interest from each period. Collectively, their sum results in a present value of the investment or loan that is each payment without interest. Let's assume we pay back a loan by making yearly payments of X rand into this account. Interest is charged at R percent per annum, compounded annually, for a total of five payments. The first payment is made at the end of the year and the last payment at the end of five years. So this is an ordinary annuity. We can determine the present value of the loan at time zero in the following way. Since future value equals present value brackets 1 plus i close brackets to the power of n. Therefore present value equals future value over brackets 1 plus i close brackets to the power of n equals future value brackets 1 plus i close brackets to the power of minus n. If we now add all of these present values together, we get present value equals x, open brackets, 1 plus i, close brackets, to the power minus 1 plus x, open brackets, 1 plus i, close brackets, to the power minus 2 plus x, open brackets, 1 plus i, close brackets, to the power minus 3 plus x, open brackets, 1 plus i, close brackets, to the power minus 4, plus x, open brackets, 1 plus i, close brackets, to the power minus 5. We get the following geometric series. x, open brackets, 1 plus i, close brackets, to the power minus 1 plus x, open brackets, 1 plus i, close brackets, to the power minus 2 plus x, open brackets, 1 plus i, close brackets, to the power minus 3 plus x, open brackets, 1 plus i, close brackets, to the power minus 4 plus x, open brackets, 1 plus i, close brackets, to the power minus 5. a equals x, open brackets, 1 plus i, close brackets, to the power of negative 1. r equals open brackets, 1 plus i, close brackets, to the power of negative 1. n equals 5. sn equals a, open brackets, 1 minus r to the power n, close brackets, over 1 minus r. S5 equals x, open brackets, 1, plus i, close brackets, to the power minus 1, open brackets, open brackets, 1 minus, open brackets, 1 plus i, close brackets, to the power minus 5, close brackets, close brackets, over 1 minus, open brackets, 1 plus i, close brackets, to the power minus 1 equals x, open brackets, 1, plus i, close brackets, to the power minus 1, open brackets, open brackets, 1 minus, open brackets, 
1 plus i, close brackets, to the power minus 5, close brackets, close brackets, over 1 minus open brackets, 1 plus i, close brackets, to the power minus 1, times 1 plus i, over 1 plus i, equals x, open brackets, 1 minus open brackets, 1 plus i, close brackets, to the power minus 5, close brackets, over open brackets, 1 plus i, close brackets, minus 1, equals x, open brackets, 1 minus open brackets, 1 plus i, close brackets, to the power minus 5, close brackets, over i. So, for the first five payments, present value equals x, open brackets, 1 minus open brackets, 1 plus i, close brackets, to the power minus 5, close brackets, over i. In general, if the first of n payments on the loan starts at the end of the first period, then the standard timeline will be and the formula that applies will be present value equals x, larger brackets 1 minus smaller brackets 1 plus i, close smaller brackets to the power of minus n, close large brackets, all over i. Notice that the powers are negative because we're moving backward on the timeline towards the present value.